She was at the somebody's wedding and Tiny was dropping it down on Floyd. Tia, I wasn't having that. Yeah, it was Thank just you. like a dance or something. Right? It was, well, I ain't gonna say it was just, a, it was just a, a dance, wedding but, reception, but, and she was dancing with him. Floyd. Yeah, yeah. And the, you know, yeah. She tiny, so you know. What? She gave it to him. She was giving it to him. No, that's not that's not a sign. Well, her T.I. was having problems, and he was all around. Oh, they were together. No, he was all around on the internet. Whatever that girl is that he was supposedly dating after him and. Tiny was separated. Oh, really? Can't even remember her name. Uh-huh. That's all. I, I didn't know that. She is. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess she was kind of doing her own thing on her, you know, I'm going to do me. And he didn't like that. Heck no. See, guys can dish it, but they do not want to take it. They can't take it. So. Watch out now. On to the next thing. Fabulous. Speaking of a man who can't F-A- take it, B-O-L-O-U-S. he can't take it. You know, he got the beautiful lady Emily Emily B, uh, who's been down with him for some years now, and uh, he was caught with violent domestic abuse charges, and they got him on um, video. You know, making terroristic threats towards her and her father and her brother, um, and uh, now they're saying that. Um, Fabulous did punch her in the head about seven times. Uh-oh. Um, he caused severe damage to her two Uh-oh. front teeth Uh-oh. that were then had to be medically removed. That's a no-no. Yeah. Um, he also texted her and threatened that he would hit her in the head with a baseball bat, and and also said that he would put a he has a bullet for her. Um, then he tried to go inside of his house to get his handgun, which Emily was smart, and she had already removed him, and then he was real fired up that the daddy and brother was there and they had removed his gun, he wanted his stuff. But um, according to BASA, um, the New Jersey prosecutor's office will be trying the case against Fabulous, and if Fabulous is convicted, he could face um, three to five years in state prison. So the Brooklyn, New York rapper is do back in court later this month in April. So wow. we'll see how this is going to go. Well, he, I mean, you know, that's bye, bye, bye. I know it's easier said than done and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. By no means to put your hands on Unacceptable. It. Yeah, it's unacceptable. And and I, I saw the video, the, but the video I saw was when he was arguing with her dad. Right. And I'm like, do what you think, what you think any dad's going to do. It don't matter if, if, if you know if, if it's no no you know you don't know you don't do that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. And he probably didn't want his daughter with him. Right. So you know that just really just sparked the fuse. You know. Right. So he, he probably really get you know dad probably just let it all out. You know I like she really don't like it. She just with you for your money. I don't think she loves him. She had kids by him. Yeah, yeah, she probably do. But you know, he probably she was with dad him on probably the show just when wanted he to try to hurt his feelings. Okay? You know what I'm saying? She was still like, that's my man. He wasn't even claiming her. So she loves him. She loves him. Yeah. yeah. She wants him to marry her, but mm, that relationship just needs force, to end. You can't force marriage. Yeah, because I mean, if this kind of switch one, he's starting to put bullets in the head. He's running looking for guns, you know. You know, enough is enough. You gotta, they're not, it's not healthy. So. I don't think that's a good thing for her or the kids to be in that environment. I guess it's not his party, huh? No, it's not his party. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to trade it all. Man. And he can't let her go. (laughs) That was good. That was good, Wendy Rose. Trying to mix all the little songs with that little song in there. Get my own self. Ice on the road today, y'all. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) All right, so what we're going to do. He was on the Superwoman. With he was with little mouth. Da 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 but, um, I mean, if something don't give in that relationship, he wouldn't be threatening me like that. The next time he think he would, I have some hot-ass grits for him, a bat, 
My own 22 for his ass. He would not be hitting on me. What's a 22? Okay, what, 25? No, I'm just asking. Something. I'm, I'm just home. asking. You know, because, you know, you put the room was the 22 just the small bullets. Well, so you look. put enough of those small bullets. In well, good lord. Place. You trying to put 22s in them like grits then, huh? Yep. He wouldn't hit me. Don't be violent. Well, he's the one started it. I, I got your back, Emily. Me and Tiffany had it. You know, she don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all roll up on them. <laughs> F-A-P-O, come on, let's go. I can hear right. Tiffany, Tiffany say something like you that. You know she would. You know she did She'll that. She'll probably hit him. She had Beyonce's back the other day. Yeah, I heard. Mm -hmm. I heard. Uh, when someone kissed Beyonce, secretly kissed Beyonce huh? on the cheek, bit her, bit her on the cheek. Yeah, bit her. Yeah, after the, the concert, it was backstage. And, wow. Uh, Twitter was buzzing. They said it was Sanai. Like them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Because Jay-Z um, was seen speaking with Sanai huh? earlier that night. And um, supposedly Beyonce walked so what, up. So speak to him? Supposedly Beyonce walked over to where they were. Um, we're not sure, though, what they were talking about. But she could have, you know, reached over. So it must have been some history then that they wasn't probably even supposed to be around each other type stuff. Yes, definitely history because he gave Shanat Sanai a shout out in one of his songs back oh, really? in 2003. You a Jay, you a Jay consumer. So yes, you know him. I know you know. So, so he gave her a shout out, out in one kind of his of songs. Out? Like he said, Flying in Sanai, something like that. Oh, he trying to slide it in? Yeah. What song is that when he says Flying in Sanai? Anyway, so that was the same time. Guy. That was the same time that um, him and Beyonce were like openly dating one another because they were dating mm -hmm. each other for a few years and then they weren't, you know, validating that they were together. And that's when they also made the Bonnie and Clyde video and song. Oh, okay. So that same year, you know, so. so Beyonce probably. So it wasn't when uh when old girl was going off in them on the, uh, uh when Solange was going off off on them in the elevator. Is she is Sanai Becky with the good hair? I don't think so. Oh, I don't okay. think she was Becky with the good hair. But I mean so Beyonce made, ain't having it no more. She, she ain't having said, it. Hey Poppy. <laughs> I'm on them. I'm on them today, hey, I'm on them. She may have said, Hey Poppy. And Beyonce popped up, punched him. Oh well, was Guru to punch her? She, she showed she up with bit, the bat. And then she bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she bit, uh, uh, Sanai. She bit her. Sanai, let me tell you, my theory on that is that Sanai. She bit her. It's a then, little freak, okay? And then she let Jay Z know she that wanted it's a little hard freak. Knock life. She was like, I want Jay and I can have you too, Beyonce. Rawr. Bitter. Bit her. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rawr. Yes. That's what proud? I think. Yeah, I think she did. Okay. And she was off the liquor so too. It's a hard knock life for him, then. <laughs> Beyonce ain't with it. Yeah, but that's uh, some of the tea we got today. Stay tuned, we got much more. We're about to go on a commercial break. Y'all listening to the Ice Tea Show with Tia B and DJ Ice on 97 and Alright, and we are back. You listening to the Ice Tea Show with your girl Tia B and DJ Ice. Yeah, catch me at Big Mike's Comedy Blast. Yeah. This Saturday. This Saturday. We know something else going on too, but... Big Mike's Comedy Blast. Hilton is what's Garden Inn. Hilton Garden Inn. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. $20. $20. 25 at the door. 25 at the door. Ice going to be spending the ones and twos. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be on Show the ones and twos. Eight. I think I'm going to uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really uh, I'm gonna give them some April showers. It's supposed to, it's supposed now to be pretty warm. Now that just threw me off when you say April showers. I just you never heard of like that? golden showers. April showers bring Mayflowers. Yeah. How are we going to get April showers? You're going to do something like... So I'm going to shower them with the hits. Or something like yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shower them with hits. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be doing like all kind of rain or something? No, 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 no. I'm just going to shower them with hits. Just shower them with hits. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit them hard. I'm going to hit them hard this, this week. Because usually I'll be laid back. Mm -hmm. I'll just, you know, kind of give them a little something, give them a little something. But uh, you know my, uh, you know my man. That's 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 one of Kazell's uh, guys, man. So you know Marvin, they they real good friends, man. So 
I got I got a I got a show up for him. So who who's um? It's on the fly. Who's one? Oh, it's going to be Marvin Hunter. Yeah, Marvin Hunter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 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 my guy. He appeared on guy. the Ricky Smiley tour. Yeah, yeah. And these these people be be large. These co co comedians be they be large. It's a nice atmosphere, you know. Professional people. It'd be nice. Okay, and then uh, Fab Monroe. Yeah. And Hey J. Hey Hey J. Yeah. All right. Back to the T. Okay. Gary Owens. He's hilarious. Oh man, I hilarious. saw that. I I saw that. Him and uh, Michael Blackston. Yes. Man, they had me rolling. Yeah. But I knew. I knew he was going to do something like he did. But go ahead. I ain't going to spoil it. Okay. Spoil it. So if you guys are not sure what we're talking about, comedian Gary Owens, he is under fire for using his wife, who is African American. Oh, start from the beginning. Start from the beginning, the beginning, beginning. You start from the beginning, beginning. Let's go. He shot, you know, uh, Michael Blackson. Shots fired to Gary. Mm -hmm. He sent out a video. Go and on. then Gary replied. Mm -hmm. And then Michael replied. And then Gary replied. When, when Gary replied, you talking about With the second life. reply. Yes. yes. So that was the second one. The first one was when uh, Michael Blackson told him that uh, that he just... You want to be black so he, bad, he, don't he wanna, you? He want to be like one of us. And then he told him, you know, well, he, you know, he, I've been in some movies. Mm -hmm. I, and you know, there's been plenty of African movies that I haven't seen you in none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said there's been plenty of, of, of African movies or, or black movies, and I haven't seen you in none. So then, Michael Blackson fired back and was like, "I never open up for you. You got the wrong N word." <laughs> And I bet you can't say that. I bet I know you want to say it. And then, now this is your part. Okay. Then Gary replied. Mm -hmm. um, he had his wife um, get on there and say the N-word for him. Because his wife is? African American. Yes, she's black. So, yeah. Um, Blackson had said to Gary Owens, you want to be black so bad don't you well f you n word now say that back <laughs> yeah. i don't think you're gonna say that back and then so then that's when uh gary owens got his wife kenya owens to uh use the n word on his behalf for him <laughs> and that was creative she said michael blackson saw your little weak comeback where you said i smell like wet dog that's what gary was saying yeah and he said, yeah, I kissed her, white girl, white guy stuff. You said I won't say the N-word back to you. You dare me? I don't got to say it. My lady will say it for me. And then she let him have it. So people on social media had like mixed reactions. Um, and then they have said that Gary is a racist, which I don't think he's a racist. They've said that his wife is a traitor. I don't think his wife is a traitor. Um, but this is what Michael Blackson does. He's an antagonizer. He's sits yeah. on uh, it's like, it's like Instagram it's, all day. Yeah, it's like he's all of them. like he's like he's reaching for attention. He did that with Kevin Hart. He did. And he Kevin did it Hart with um, like, Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese. You know, it's it's like he used the celebrities to come up. I think he he may be trying to steal their fans. You know, their, well not their fans, but their following. Yes, because yeah, yeah, he yeah. He, yeah. Don't do anything. Michael Blackson's gonna roast you. He's definitely gonna roast you. But they get him back too. Some yeah. of those memes that you see of Michael Blackson, you know, yeah. That's and, and, and they was giving Gary a lot of flack, man. But I mean, I, I think it was all good, good, clean fun. I don't think he's a racist. You know, I've, I've actually seen him uh, in, you know, in person for his stand up. I watch a lot of his stand up. He is very good. And, and he's been in the game and around, you know, for in the industry time. for a while. Yes, so he has. If he wanted to say it, I think he would have slipped and said it by now. Mm -hmm. I, I really and do. He's and he's obviously not right show. he's married to a black woman. Right. And their show. I like their show. I did and love And the thing show. about their show, and this is what I peeped. Because, you know, people do be kind of trying to be like, 
uh, you know, he may he may be racist, but his boy, his homeboy, for years mm -hmm. that they was coming up together, and his homeboy did not make it, which was he was black. The, the which homeboy? homeboy? He lived with him. It's, it's the guy that was on the show that lived with him. He was kind of like his assistant or something. Oh, okay, I don't recall who he. I forgot his name, but he, he you know, he, he provided a job for him. You know what I'm saying? They was both coming up, and he, you know, he made it, and dude is still trying to make it, you know, as large. I think he's somewhat has a following, but he's not as large as, as Gary is. Okay. Because uh, they went out to, you know, have, like, his wife flip houses. Okay. Like for a hobby, but that's like an extra income for him. And uh, and him and Gary had went out and and kind of found out, you know, like that she she had had a house that she was flipping because she told him that she was gonna stop, but she didn't because she couldn't just pass up the deal, you know. And then once she told him, you know, the the profit, I think it was like a couple of hundred thousand dollars, you know, that he, you know, him and him and his homeboy. You know, felt kind of bad because they was kind of like going behind her back, sneaking around, you know, to find out the information. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, but I don't think he's racist. Uh, I, I really don't. I really don't. I agree. I agree. But um, I'm there for it, though. They're both funny. Yeah. So yeah. I'm there for it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Q-Tip, who I said is having a birthday this week. Yeah. Um, he is going to be headed to college, but not as a student. He'll be headed to college as an instructor. Um, the tribe called Quest Frontman is teaming up with journalist Ashley Kahn to teach a course in New York University Clive Davis Institution of Recorded Music and of the Titch School of Art. Um, so the seven class curriculum it's going to explore the underappreciated connections between jazz and hip hop, and then combine historical and social perspectives with the opportunity to produce original mu music. So, um, you know, they say that hip hop started from jazz. Yeah, and, so I and, think and that's tri cool. and a tribe called Quest. They they stayed loyal and true to, to the hip hop. They have. Mm -hmm. They did. They really did. And they always use jazz as an inspiration. Yeah, so um, some of the artists who will be studying um, and taking his class include The Last Poet, um, of course, Tribe Call Quest, Public Enemy, The Roots, Lauren Hill, and Kendrick Lamar. So they will be studying those artists, I'm sorry, within the curriculum. Okay. They're going to study Kendrick, Lauren, Chocolate Quest, Public Enemy, The Last Poet. And Q-Tip is really heavy in the producing uh, side, producing engineering. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that, but he really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's like really, really heavy. I saw a documentary, I want to say, uh, Kendrick Lamar, and uh, he, was, he was saying that, he mentioned that, that, that Q-Tip was uh, really... Uh, Instrumental in and uh, in, in, in getting him getting him out there uh, on some good production. And I know there are a lot of young people coming up right now that want to be in the music industry, want to learn more about. It. I think this would be a great opportunity for them because not only will they study those phenomenal um, artists, but they will also learn like musicianship, performance, composition, and production, all under Q-Tips mentorship. That's like priceless. Yeah, of course. That's like it's, priceless. And, and really, for real, I think with with these younger artists, mm -hmm. it's really all about just respecting and paying homage to the older people. Yeah, to the art. I think if they do that, in art. These, these older cats will just open the door wide open for them. Yeah. Because because they're getting older, it's nothing they can do. Mm -hmm. So why not pass the knowledge? But they're not gonna give it to them if they're gonna be all disrespectful. Right. I right. wouldn't. Right. It's so much for them to learn. You have to know your history if you're gonna really say you're a hip hop yeah. artist or a rapper. You know, you just can't be out there just think you're gonna make music and right. you don't know your history. So shout out to uh, Q-Tip for that. Yeah, just um, like the little dude, uh, what's the little dude 
the six six something, the little artist, the new artist that uh he uh talking about Pop wasn't nothing and Biggie wasn't nothing or some other stuff. It was an artist. Six nine? Yeah, six nine. Oh gosh, yeah. she's trash. Straight trash. Yeah. Yeah, Gary Evans is the one making fun of him on the breakfast club because six nine came on like that friday and gary owens came on the breakfast club on that monday and he came in a dress like him it was hilarious oh, wow. he had the hair he I put the tattoos to see on his that. face uh, looking like him <laughs> 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 Ooh, that was too funny he's what they call a fake gangster out here in the industry. very much so he's just you know and he don't care it's he like think he's he hard though fun. Oh. He, don't, he don't really. He don't, he I, I don't think he's he really that. He said that he was the best rapper out there. He was on. Come on, man. On the Breakfast Club, saying I'm the best one out there. Charlene was like, No, you're not. I'm the best one out. There. No, you're not. So, so did he look like that? He really believed what he was oh, saying. Oh yes, he he was dead serious and with a straight face. Charlene was like, No, you're not. Exactly. <laughs> In your face. We're not gonna talk about behind behind your back. Wow. But um, speaking of the Breakfast Club and Charlamagne the God, so there's some little tension between Charlamagne and Chris Brown that's going on because Chris Brown was up there at the station, 90, Hot 97. He was giving interviews to um, Nisa. He interviewed with Angie Martinez. And then he was supposed to go and interview with the Breakfast Club. However, he did not make it. He detoured and left. So he was in New York doing a free concert, charity concert. So all the proceeds is going to go um, to the charity. So he wasn't there on property. He was there to, you know, give back. And because he did not stop by the Breakfast Club, I guess Charlemagne was a little salty. And uh, he said that Chris Brown was like fidgety and moving too much. And he talked about his appearance that he just looked like he was on drugs. And then Chris Brown, you know, typical Chris Brown would like fire back, you know, because he kind of have anger management problems. But he did not, you know, yeah, he Chris, actually. Chris, Chris ain't playing with these cats. None of them. Bow yeah. Wow, he put Bow Wow in check a few, a few uh, weeks ago. And just anybody that didn't came for him, man, he, he puts them in check. That's one thing I will say I like about Chris. Yeah, so he, he did not fire he back. Let, he don't let that stuff slide. He didn't fire back with like, you know, with the same energy that Charlamagne was giving him. He actually um, invited them to come to his concert. Um, and he basically said, long story short, you have to say what y'all want to say about me, but I'm the best out here when it comes to dancing, singing, producing music. I'm an artist, I play basketball, I'm in movies. Like he listed a litany of you know his, his accomplishments, resume. yes. And then he and was he like, so you really can't say nothing he to me. <laughs> Drop the mic. Shut on. him up. That's true though. You, I mean, you know, think about it. He's he's done he's done everything he mentioned. Yeah, he did. So I mean I was I supported him on that one, you know. I mean he ain't gonna admit that he's doing drugs. That's like Whitney Houston sitting up there with that interview um on Oprah saying, I don't do crack, crack sweat. We all knew she was on drugs. Chris ain't gonna and admit tweaking it. Tweaking and twitching <laughs> and rubbing her nose and stuff. Right. But yeah, so so they said that so Charlemagne was saying drugs, or did he say like he said a, drugs. a certain drug? He didn't say a certain drug. Oh, okay. I mean, he didn't say a certain drug. I kind of thought maybe it was like I don't know, cocaine. That's what I think. I mean, I'm just saying. I love Chris. I hate to say that, but I think he's got some Ike, Ike Turner in him. <sighs> Messing with that boy. <laughs> but um, I mean, what you think, Ice? You think know, he's on? Think you think he's on drugs? I mean, if if he is, he's probably on something like Molly or something, because you know it, it, he has a he always have a whole lot of energy. He's always energetic and and just jumpy. So you know he may be on something something like that, and that's like that arrow. So I wouldn't think like no crack or not crack. Crack is whack. Right. <laughs> or cocaine or nothing. They, I don't even think they know what cocaine is. That that arrow. Well, not that they don't know what it is, but I don't think they would. That would be like their choice of drug. You don't know some of those entertainers. They, I think they Hollywood. do be doing that to it's like keep matter. their energy up, so they can like stay up all day, be in the studio all night, and keep it moving. You know, on to the next days. No sleep for forty-eight hours. I think they do that off of cocaine. Mm. 
But it could be Molly, like you said, that is the drug of choice for this generation. Uh-huh. Molly. Yeah. Percocet. Molly, Molly Percocet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They masked off. Huh? <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're just going to keep Chris in our prayers, you know. And whatever he's doing, he's doing a damn good job. It ain't stopped it from getting to that money because he just put out, like, what, 45 track album? Yeah, it was actually 45 tracks, and I still haven't listened to my album. Oh, yeah. man. I told you, man, I'm, 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 I've, been, I've been slipping as a DJ, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you got to get on that. Chris got a few. You know, he always stay consistent with the hits. He's damn right. 45 he songs. Like, I ain't got time to listen to like, four or five songs. A hook. What makes him think I'm going to listen to People always want them songs. on his songs, they songs. Why? Because he know that he going to come through, he's going to deliver. And he's about right on that, too. Well, Chris, I ain't got time. Hey, Chris don't have time. He's trying to get that money. All right. So, um, last T of um, Mark Zuckerberg. That's the uh, owner and creator of Facebook. And, you know, Facebook was all under charges and allegations because Facebook was the one that allowed Russia to buy ads that targeted, you know, people to kind of sway their votes during the campaign. They mm -hmm. were misusing the, the ads because I think there's there are rules in order to um, sponsor an ad if you're a politician. And uh, yeah, they they were not followed for the Trump campaign, and so now Zuckerberg, now Zuckerberg has to undergo a two-day congressional um, inquisition, and it's going to be a public inquisition, and um, it's going to be massive for the social networking company. Um, so Zuckerberg is going to be visiting with senators. It's going to be a closed door meeting. Um, the meeting happened this Monday and uh, Monday and Tuesday, so today as well. And um, he's already apologized to the public and to his users that, you know, they want to restore trust um, from his company into the public, um, especially given the, the next political campaign that's coming up in the fall. They yeah. gotta get this together because we can't have any more cheating. Cause we we Democrats is coming back. I think I think everybody's gonna come out. I I believe I think, so I too. think we're gonna hit record numbers this this, this time. Yeah. Even even with the Obama one, I think it's gonna get uh, more than that. Mm -hmm. I really do, because now they see, now they 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 feel it. Yeah. So they're they gonna feel. probably put some procedures, some more stricter procedures and regulations around um, how Facebook allows people to sponsor ads. Yep, but um, Trump is definitely, the shit's about to hit the fan with him because his uh, lawyer. Yeah, Cohen. Yes, his office. Michael Cohen. Was raided. Yeah. By feds. The feds, the feds mm -hmm. jumped out on him. Poof, yep. Kicked in the dough. Waving the faux fo. -fo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go with another song. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, see, like that, that's me. Like you gotta, you gotta, you know, if you, if you wanna get my attention, you say some song, put some in music. <laughs> you be sometimes, you know, you catch me with that. Yeah. So um, the FBI on Monday raided the office of President Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. And they seized emails, tax documents, and um, records related to his payment to, to Stormy Daniels. Uh oh. Yep. Uh oh. So Stormy is getting Paying her off due the side justice. Chair, yes. And this this about the shit's about to hit the fan. And she's so they, telling it all. She yeah. So um, the New York Times reported that the payment to Daniels is just many of. Um, the topics that the FBI is investigating and looking into uh, regarding Trump. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. Mm-hmm. Um, so Trump paid her off $130,000 as part of a non-disclosure agreement that um, he shared. Yes, that he shared with her just, about just their relationship. It. And just he paid her off one week before yeah, he was running Sent for president. 
Yep, and that's a violation of uh, campaign rules. You cannot do that. Um, so that's why he slid it through his lawyer. He tried to. It's not happening because he used campaign money, or they're trying to they're trying to see if he used campaign money. He probably did. You know, he funded himself. He, he, he funded himself to win the presidency. You cannot sit here and tell me that. Because plus, did, did they say anything about, since he's been in office, one of his hotels made like 75 million? I wouldn't be surprised. I recall when he was running for president and, um, what's her name? Uh, Hillary Clinton was in Europe doing a tour visiting all the European countries, doing her, um, you know, publicity. Well, Trump was not in the countries in Europe doing that. He was in Europe promoting his resorts that he had just recently built over there. And there was like about three of them. Yeah. So this was all about because he right did his, because think about it, think about it. He did his, uh, his, his campaign run, quote unquote, for mm -hmm. real, mm -hmm. to him, I bet you he thought when he was doing The Apprentice, that was like him, you know, cause, cause he just needed the public. He just needed the public's eye. Yeah. To keep their attention. Mm -hmm. And that was that was his way of getting the people's attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, I can't wait to you know he's out of there. I don't once, think he's gonna make it. Once it hits the time. fan, man, it's 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 gonna it's gonna hit. It's gonna get bad. And I think a whole lot of people's going down with it. A whole lot of people Even that brother down. that ain't no brother. Now, what do you think the Trump supporters are going to be like? You think they're going to be upset? Taking to the streets, trying to start stuff? They, they ain't going to be like it. They ain't no gangsters. But they, they, they just, they're going to be upset. They, they probably working on a new uh, face, you know, the, the Republic. The Republic, they want, they want somebody. Well, you know anybody but Pence. Let's not get him. Because I heard he's worse than Trump. He's very conservative in his views. And his political. That's why we gotta come out. We most definitely. If they're not be, with that, we gotta gonna come cheat. out. They're gonna cheat. Now they can't be pulling no um, college electoral votes. That I don't this think mess cannot do that. happen again. I don't think they'll do that. I think it's gonna be so right to where even if they try to cheat, it still won't won't happen. Well, y'all better get out there and vote. We cannot have this fool in office two times. No, no, no. Not at all. What we're going to do, we're going to go on a commercial break or we're about to spin a song. Ice, you got the new, yeah. the new yeah. joint of the day? The new joint of the day? Mm-hmm. It's What's Up. Oh, What's Up by Rude. Yeah. That's What's Up. That's What's Up. Hi, and we back. That was a little what's Rouge. What's up? What's up? Yeah, you see a bad... Chick. Tell her what's up. What's up? Y'all go cop that new single. It's on all media outlets. Yes, yeah, it's, it's out there. It's, all, it's, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Video dropping soon. It's everywhere. We even got hard copies. That's Lil Rouge. What's up? Alright, so that's our show for today. I want to shout out our sponsors, SKS Tax Professionals. Yeah, it's getting close. It's getting close. Yes, it's, this it's is the last time. Final you know, week. Yeah, you, you, you're going to have to get an extension, mm -hmm. which is an extra fee. And yeah. uh, tell them to shoot that extra fee to ICE. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, yeah, you, the deadline is coming soon. So you need to get it or get taxed. Right. So make sure they go to the tax professional. The tax professional, SKS Tax Service. They are in your local area at four different locations, St. Matthews, Dixie, West Broadway, and Jefferson Street. You can find them online at sksfirm.com backslash tax. Anything else, Ice? You got anything going on besides Big Mike's Comedy Blast on Saturday? Big Mike's Comedy Blast uh, this Saturday. Come out and holler at your boy. Uh, April 27th, we got the boxing at the Yum Center, the Real Deal, Holyfield, and TKO. Promotions. We got a lot of professional boxers. You know, we got my man Carlos Dixon. He's the uh, up and coming. Basically, he's the this generation Muhammad Ali. Okay. Him and Travis. Travis the Truth. Uh, you know, 
Come out and support them, man. Okay. It's April 27th, the Yum Center, KFC Yum Center, located downtown Louisville, Kentucky. It's going to be broadcast on ESPN. Awesome. Yeah, streamed in like a hundred and something countries. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what we got. Now, there, I have a, a cousin who bots. He's in L.A. Yeah? Is any good? Very much so. Y'all go check him out. His name is Terrell Adams. Y'all go check him out. T.A.? Mm-hmm. I think, I think I've heard of him. He is pretty good. I, mm -hmm. I, I really have. Yeah. For real. I think I have. Yeah, I think Hopefully, I I'll see him one day here boxing at the Young Center. That'll be awesome. Yeah, make it happen. I, I, I have my people to contact your people. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we uh looking forward to have uh, June Joel in the building next week. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll end it off with some pop the question type song for you. For sure. So we yeah. That's our show. Uh,